Hey, Paul. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Oh, we're hoping for an update. So uh, we sent a drill in a couple holes. Good man. As a new day begins on Oak Island, for brothers Rick and Marty Lagina, they arrive in the fabled Money Pit area to check on the progress of an operation that they hope will finally reveal the answers to a 229-year-old treasure mystery. It's getting close. First hole uh, kind of seemed like it was deflecting off a wall. Where are we again? So it would be the north side. One week ago, after extending the mid-18th century structure known as the garden shaft down to a depth of 90 feet, representatives from Dumas Contracting Limited used a coring drill to penetrate a mysterious tunnel located at a depth of 95 feet, which is believed to run due west toward an area known as the Baby Blob. It is in this region where water testing that was conducted in previously drilled boreholes has detected high trace evidence of silver, gold, and other metals between 80 and 120 feet underground. There's a structure of some sort down there, a wooden structure of some sort, and you're about to unearth it, right? That's right. OK, that's enough said for me. So today, we put in the landing. We're adding another set. Now. After unsuccessfully drilling into the bleached tunnel for a second time, over the course of the next week, Dumas will proceed with constructing the final level, or set, to extend the garden shaft down to a total depth of some 95 feet, where they hope to intersect the mysterious passageway and find out what it may contain. We've invested a lot of time and energy delineating this tunnel. And I think there's great anticipation on everyone's part to try to, well, not only to put eyes on it, but to see where it may lead. If the tunnel predates the shaft, it makes the tunnel far more interesting than just finding a previously unknown tunnel. It's all good news. Yes. I'm starting to get eager now. <laughs> it's about I got time. my toes tickling there. So close, <laughs> you can smell it there now. Oh, so. yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Let's let him get back to work, because we're poised to finally do this. Okie doke. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. OK. Thank, Thank you. you, Paul. The following morning. Ready? Yep. Yeah. While representatives from Dumas Contracting Limited continue their efforts to deepen the garden shaft in the Money Pit area. Can we get in our car? Yeah. Here it comes right now. Several feet to the southwest. God, I hope something good is in this. Marty Lagina and his son Alex join other members of the team at Borehole H8, where they hope to find evidence of the chapel vault somewhere below a depth of 180 feet. It's a long one. We're ready to slice and dice. You know, we had the canister H8 go down, and it hit something big that moved around underground and went somewhere. We're sure of that. Yeah, there's a lot of water in there. It is possible that H8 is very near the original money pit, so we have to look deeper. How deep are we, Adam? We're at 211. 211? It's going to be a mess. Let's get our hands dirty, gentlemen. Ready? This is the silt and the clay, and there's a few little clumps of material that might have fallen from above. There's a little chunk of wood right there, just below all our silt and whatnot. And this sits just on top of bedrock. Start right there, Charles. Come on, be something. We got something. I got something right here. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna wash it down. Okay, guys. What is that? Pretty solid chunk of metal. That could be a piece of the treasure vault. Oh my goodness. Cool. This material to here, that could be part of the plug, no question. The plug could have disintegrated and fallen off to one side and all that stuff. That's right. The plug that fell out was nine feet or a little over nine feet. Right. And they, they chewed down one side of it, so we could still get a significant size plug on one side or the other of the vault. Yeah. If the team has found a portion of the plug or the spoils that may have pushed the chapel vault deeper underground when the H8 caisson was originally excavated in 2017, could that mean that they are close to pinpointing the legendary chest of valuables? Hey, Rick. 
Hey. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Hey. How deep are we? Well, we're at 211 down there. But here's the thing. That little bit could have been our plug. Because if there was a plug in there, it probably didn't stay intact. It probably broke off. Well, that and it probably yeah. slid the treasure vault. Yeah, one side the slid other. to one side or the other, right. So yeah. we need to move the rig and come down in another location. I do believe that material, whatever was contained within it, has fallen to a, a far greater depth. To what side and what cardinal direction, we don't know. I think at this point, the only way to exploit this possible clue is to continue to do some drilling. OK. We need to figure out where the next hole is. OK. That sounds okay. like a plan. Yep. Thanks, guys. Later that afternoon. Hey, Roger. How are you doing? Soggy, but otherwise good. Come on and sit down, guys. Rick and Alex Lagina, yeah. along with Scott Barlow, join Roger Forte inside the Dumas trailer in the Money Pit area, where they are about to receive a carbon dating report regarding a wood sample that was obtained one week ago from the possible treasure tunnel located below the garden shaft. I'm going to call Craig and my dad and, and get the info right from Craig. So. Yep. These guys from Dumas bought into this process. This is not a job to them. They're excited, they're interested, they're invested. I want to see that somebody's been down there a long time. They have a right to know what the fruits of the labor has been. So I hope the results are informative. Hey, Alex. Hey, Craig. Um, I got Rick, Scott, and Roger here, and my dad's on the other line. So we are looking forward to the carbon dating results. Okay, uh, this is from the wood that came up from the tunnel of the garden shaft. The probability is from 1631 to 1684. 34% from 1735 to 1803. 6.2% from 1529 to 1556. Very good numbers. That is, yeah, that is something. Uh, yep. A carbon dating test that was conducted on a wood sample collected one week ago from the possible treasure tunnel below the garden shaft has indicated that the seven foot tall structure could be nearly 400 years old. The original searchers as far as town length wasn't until about 1860. Yeah, uh, this is pretty impressive numbers. This could be original. So there's a chance this is connected to the original money pit. Part of the offset chamber. Right. Incredibly, this is the second wood sample taken from the mysterious tunnel this year that has been dated to as early as the 1600s. This means that it was likely constructed more than a century before the discovery of the original money pit. Dates are well, well, well before any searcher should have been in this area tunneling. So soupy. I think that's in everybody's, you know, vision right now to deepen that garden shaft and find out what's down there. You have a tunnel, previously unknown, heading in the direction where these high uh, metal values are being derived. So if this is the original work, then you're a small step closer to the ultimate solution. We have every reason to continue the process of trying to understand what this tunnel represents. We have to get down there. No, absolutely. And that's, that's pretty well our next step where we're at right now. It's just getting to it, exposing it. I think it's going to answer a lot of questions that we, we, we have right now. Yep. These results tell me you need to work faster and get that <laughs> <Yeah>. faster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, look, let's just declare victory for today. Get back to digging. Okie doke. We'll let you get to work, Roger. Very good. Roger. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Great news.